New details tonight on the fallout from the shocking suicide of a Florida, former Florida Gator and New England Patriots star Aaron Hernandez. One week after his death, the attorney for the man who was the last person to see him alive held a news conference and made some demands. Reporter Christina Hager of our sister station in Boston, WBZ, has more from Shirley, Massachusetts. Kyle Kennedy thinks he was probably the last fellow inmate to see Aaron Hernandez alive before guards found the former Patriot star hanging in his cell. Kennedy's attorney, Larry Army Jr. He and Aaron Hernandez were close friends and spent a great deal of time together in prison. My client has informed me that at some point in time in the near future, he personally will discuss the nature and the extent of the relationship between he and Aaron Hernandez. Army said the two had requested to room together, said Hernandez wrote letters to Kennedy's family, including this one, tell the family I said hi and I hope all is well. He said Hernandez promised him the watch he's seen wearing in this photo. It was a custom made watch for him with a price tag of $47,000. He said Kennedy was stunned when he found out about the death, which was ruled a suicide. My client remembered at that point in time a letter that he received from Mr. Hernandez approximately three weeks earlier where Mr. Hernandez did state, I think I'm going to hang it up, LOL. My client at the time didn't read into that, thought it was a joke. Army said he did not know if the two had smoked synthetic marijuana before the incident, as sources have told WBZ. But attorneys representing other inmates at the maximum security lockup say it's common knowledge that drugs often get smuggled in. There'll be hearings and whatever and investigations and, and six months and from now everything will be back to normal. There'll be knives in there and shanks and weapons and there'll be drugs. Kennedy's attorney says state officials are refusing to give him a letter Aaron Hernandez wrote and left behind that he believes was intended for him. We're also hearing from Aaron Hernandez's defense attorney, Jose Baez, who brushed off these claims, saying, we do not have time to stop our efforts and respond to every convicted felon who has something to say about Aaron Hernandez. In Shirley, Massachusetts, Christina Hager, CBS 4 News.